Hi, welcome to Sophia's Art Supply Review. I'm back again with another information-packed and fun-filled video. Today I would be reviewing the Little Birdies watercolor half pan set of 48 colors. I picked this box on Amazon for Rs. 3,399. Undoubtedly, it's a pricey set of paints, but what attracted me to this box is the fact that there are very few sets that are available in the market that provide so many colours in such a compact box. The Little Birdie watercolour half pan sets are made in India and distributed by Itsy Bitsy. They claim to be professional grade colours with rich and vibrant pigments. This box that I'm reviewing today contains 48 colours, but they also have a smaller box of 24 colors that is available for Rs. 1699 on Amazon. I have added the links to both the boxes in the description below. Moving on to the set, the box comes in a paper carton with an attractive package design. There are swatches of 48 colors, which I'm assuming is indicative of the colors inside. It also mentions here that there is a free watercolor brush pen included in the set. When you flip over the box, you see some text describing the attributes of the set. There is no MRP or date of manufacturing mentioned anywhere. The metal box is a standard black colour that you see in most brands. The top of the box has scratches, which is a sure disappointment. This could have been avoided if they had included a bubble wrap to protect the surface. There is a sticker with the brand name. What would have been nice would have been the name of the brand etched on the surface, but this is what it is. The back of the box has a ring to loop your finger and hold the box secure while using it. The box approximately measures 22 into 11 into 2 cm and weighs about 500 grams, so it's definitely on the heavier side and it would not be convenient to keep holding on to it for a longer duration while using it. It opens up flat, giving a decent sized palette for mixing. The pan tray is also removable, giving one access to additional space if required. Here you see the colours laid out in four rows of 12 half pans, each wrapped up in their own individual foils. The free water brush included is decent size with a large reservoir. Now looking closely at the individual colour pans, there is the name of the colour mentioned and the colour number. They also have a square white box here, which could be indicative of the transparency. They also have three stars, which possibly shows the light fastness. Now what is interesting is that all the colours here have white boxes and three stars, which could mean that all the colours are highly transparent or with very high light fastness. Personally, I doubt that this is even possible, considering the fact that some pigments do have impurities and it is their nature to have some degree of opaqueness. In fact, it is these qualities that make each colour so unique and allows a professional watercolourist to explore and exploit their properties to make eye-catching paintings. Now let's proceed to unwrap these colours from their foil. The pans are now assembled back in the box and I must say that it's quite a visual treat. The colour range looks lovely. Now just a few observations. With the outer foil taken off, there is no way that one can link the pan back to the colour number since there is absolutely nothing mentioned on these pans. Secondly, it would be difficult to use this set without a swatch card. If you notice here, the colours look almost similar and it's hard to visually identify one from the other. So there are two ways of going about this. One option is to create a swatch card and keep it handy while using the paints. The second option is to rearrange the pans and group it according to the colours so you can instinctively reach out to the right pan. For instance, I prefer to group the yellows followed by the reds, then the greens, blues, browns and the greys. Now for this video, I have placed the pans exactly the same way that it originally was placed when I bought it and I'm going to create a swatch card in exactly the same order. So now let's proceed and do a swatch test to check the vibrancy of the colours.
I have completed the swatch test and these are my observations. Let me begin with the positives. All the colors are unique and nowhere would you feel that there has been a repetition, which is great news because there are several paint sets that I've reviewed where the colors come so close that it almost seems to be a waste to add it. The variety of colors is also impressive. Unfortunately, this is where the good news ends. In my experience, I found the colors extremely chalky. The minute you apply the water to activate the paint, you can visually see the chalkiness. And this carries on to the paper as well, as you can probably see that in almost all the colors, the black lines look pushed back. And needless to say, this does affect the vibrancy of the colors as well. When diluted heavily with water, the colors look faded and weak. Now let's use these paints to do a quick sketch. So this is my verdict after testing out these paints. I just don't get a premium feel while using them. The chalkiness is way too obvious and it makes it really hard to give layers to the painting without lifting the bottom layers. And this causes unintended patchiness to the painting. So one way of using this set would be to apply single layers, which is workable considering the fact that there are 48 unique colors. However, the limitation this brings in is the fact that the set cannot be used for large size paintings or commissioned work. What I would recommend on the other hand is to use this set for either creating thumbnails, for art journaling or urban sketching where you need to capture the colours and values quickly before the light changes. And now addressing the most important question. At Rs 3399, is this set worth the price? Let's look at the positives first. The box design and quality are good. The palette is large and spacious. The free water brush is functional and comes with a large reservoir. The 48 colors in the set are unique and the range does not overlap. On the negative side, however, is the fact that the paints are extremely chalky, making it difficult to layer. The vibrancy is also not professional grade. In terms of design, the metal box weighs 500 grams, making it heavy to carry around. As a conclusion, I feel that the box is too expensive and the content does not justify the price. Just by giving it a superior exterior, one cannot draw away from the fact that the paint quality is just not up to the mark. I would rather pay the same amount to get fewer pans of professional grade paints and then mix them up to create newer colors. Unfortunately for me, the Little Birdie watercolor pan set just doesn't make the cut. If you enjoyed this video, do click the like button and do subscribe to my channel to watch an art supply review every Wednesday.